Turisticos. So I'm in El Paso and I'm going to do a van tour with Art. Uh, he's got an Astro van, it's gonna be cool. I'll have that out in, I don't know, within a week or so. And uh, last night I got this little gem, a little buddy heater. Um, the, the regular size buddy one was just, it took up so much space and it was really overkill. It puts out a ton of heat and it was just way overkill. So I got this one and I'm glad that I have this one now. And uh, I think it'll be enough for a box van too. Um, especially if I wanna leave it running all night, but I'm thinking of going electric with that. Anyway, uh, we're out here in the desert and we're gonna get this tour done. I'll have it out in probably, uh, probably, I don't know, within a week, I imagine. I'll be in uh, Phoenix tonight, so yeah. Oh, uh, I got the idea about this heater from Explorer Steve. He has a really good video about uh, this one versus the buddy heater. So if you're looking for a heater for your van, check out his video on that. Um, he's got some really good info in there. Whoop. All right, so mission accomplished. Van tour down. Um, how the hell did I get out of here? <laughs> now it's off to Phoenix. Uh, ETA is 10 p.m. It's three o'clock now, but uh, yeah. Woo. See that cloud out right there? Does anybody know what kind of cloud that is? I've never seen one like that. It looks crazy, man. It's almost like a supercell or something, but it, I don't think it is. All right, so we're in New Mexico now, just uh, kind of slabbing it. It's gonna be so nice to stop driving, man. It's gonna be great to hang out with Cody. I'm gonna meet up with Wizard Dream Weston either tonight or tomorrow as well. That's gonna be sick. I haven't met him, I haven't seen him for so long since uh, Key West last year. So it's been, I don't know, I guess like a year then. Um, basically gonna get this website going, gonna get this forum going. That's gonna be awesome. Um, I had a lot of interest in stickers and merch lately, uh, t-shirts. So I'm gonna figure out how to get a drop shipper. I think Amazon might work. Um, and have some t-shirts screen printed. Basically, I stopped selling these ones because I had to, they cost me a lot of money to make because they printed them on demand and drop shipped them for me. So they cost a lot of money, so I had to charge a lot of money for them and to make anything. And um, basically, I don't believe in the quality of them and the shirt itself is made in sweatshops and I'm not down with that. So I'm gonna get some uh, Made in America t-shirts and get some, um, get some really high quality screen printing done that's gonna last for forever. I, the quality of these, after 10, 20 washes, they're starting to kind of fall apart. So anybody who bought these t-shirts, I will be emailing you, and I will be sending you a free t-shirt of my uh, the new ones that come out. Um, not gonna be able to carry all these shirts with me all the time, so I gotta find a drop shipper. And uh, I wanna do the same for the stickers and everything else. So I'll figure that out. I, I'm gonna look into doing some beanies and some hoodies, maybe limited edition, maybe make like 20 of each or something. And um, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get some merch going, get the website, and uh, pretty much my life is blessed, man. I've created a kick-ass life for myself, and I am so happy to be living it. I am so happy with the way my life is going and how everything is going. I'm so grateful for all the people who support me. I'm grateful for the people who challenge me as well. Uh, very much so. I'm grateful for all the feedback. I'm just grateful for all the people who are coming into my life and uh, Enhancing it making it better and every way that they do. I'm just uh, really practicing gratitude today, man I'm really grateful for everything that I have and uh, everything that's coming to me because there are some There are some badass things coming to me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna live this life the best that I possibly can so uh, Yeah, I hope uh, I hope everybody catches a whip of that and, uh, you know, lives a little bit of that themselves because there's, there's no better attitude than gratitude. It makes everything uh, so much better. So yeah, rock and roll, woo! So I guess there's a uh, border inspection place up here. I have no idea what this is. Does this mean I'm crossing into Mexico? It says US border inspection. I don't know what this means or what's gonna happen here. I hope they don't search my van, man. Not because I have anything to hide, it just seems like that would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling just in case they uh, decide to inspect or something. Oh, we got a doggy. How you doing? It's an hour of both weird. How's it going? U.S. citizen, sir? Yes, sir. Going in the back? Nope. 
Well, I guess that was it. He just asked me if I was a U.S. citizen and if I had anyone in the back. Huh. Easy peasy. Saw a bunch of signs that said, uh, use extreme caution, dust storms possible, uh, zero visibility possible. And it reminded me, I don't think there's going to be a dust storm today. It's pretty hazy. I don't think there's going to be a dust storm. Um, it reminded me of this time, though, when I was on my motorcycle and I went through a dust storm, man. That was terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. You couldn't see anything in front of you. And I couldn't breathe, man, at all. So I was going like 100-something miles an hour through this dust storm. I knew it was straight, open highway for like ever because I, was lo I looked at my GPS before I went through it. So I just went as fast as I could to get through that because it was either like I stop and I can't breathe and I asphyxiate or I blast through it and hope I don't get in an accident. And I didn't get in an accident. I made it through, man. Somebody was looking out for me in that one, <laughs> man. That was... That was sketchy. I could just barely make out the lines on the highway and hoping that someone didn't stop in the middle of the highway or something. It was wild, man. That was truly a life or death experience. Like, that opened my eyes, dude. Watch out for those dust storms in the Southwest, man. I'm pretty sure that was in New Mexico. That could have been in Colorado or something. It was around the Four Corners area, I know that. And uh, luckily, I have this thing. So if I do get in a dust storm, I'll just pull over like all the way off to the side of the highway and uh, leave my lights and hazards on and wear this thing and I'll be totally fine but on a motorcycle man that's bad news if I would have been smart I would have stopped and waited it out but it was like coming towards me and there was no way to cross the highway without going in the dirt I mean I could have made it through that I've gone on gravel roads and stuff on bikes before it's not a big deal but I don't know I don't know what I was thinking but it was uh, it was truly life or death man it was intense it was intense Hey, if you feel like you've gotten some value out of my videos or uh, any information on my website and you'd like to give back without spending a single penny, uh, if you use either any of the ad any of the Amazon links in the description of any of my videos or the Amazon ads or the Amazon search bar on my website or any of the links in my store, those are all Amazon affiliate links. So if you use those just to get to Amazon, even if you don't buy those products, uh, I get a small commission for it. And the more that's sold through that the higher the commission gets um, thank you so much that people have been doing that but if you guys are gonna do Christmas shopping or just shopping for yourself or whatever uh, consider bookmarking one of those links and just use that to get to Amazon whenever you use it uh, it really helps me out tremendously I'm trying to trying to get a new camera because the autofocus on this one is just getting incredibly slow and having that flip out screen especially with the touch on it lets me know that my mic is on and the mic levels and everything will just be in focus I've lost a ton of shots because um, either the camera wasn't in focus or it was so far out that the shot was just completely unusable or I forgot to turn my mic on or it wasn't plugged in all the way or something or the levels were way too high, um, something like that. I've lost a lot of shots like that. So I'm trying to save up for this new camera and uh, that would help me tremendously. And just to keep the channel going and help improve the videos and everything and uh, enable me to have a little more money to be able to uh, travel more and go to more attractions and do cool stuff. So um, yeah, that's a great way to, uh, to help the channel out and help my journeys out without, um, without having to spend any money at all. So thank you so much to the people who have already been doing that and the people who are going to now start doing that. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, so I just pulled off the freeway to take a leak real quick and I saw this uh, semi truck with a crazy, it looked like a Greyhound bus uh, as a trailer. It was crazy. So I'm gonna go try to track him down and try to take a good look at this thing. Uh, might even be able to get a tour of it. I don't even know. It looked crazy though. There it is, there it is, there it is. All right, so he pulled in to get gas and another truck pulled in behind him. And uh, I'm trying to weed through this mess to get to him. I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, he's going that way, okay. Yeah, we'll follow him. Man, I hope I can get a good look at this thing. The sun is almost set, so it might be too late for a tour. And um, this guy's getting gas anyway. He might be too busy. I'm gonna try to talk to him though and see what this is about because that thing looks sweet. There it is. Blue truck. Look at that. It's got a damn Greyhound bus as a trailer. I don't think this is a uh, good situation where I can actually talk to this guy. Um, it's just so busy here. That sucks, man. That thing looks crazy. How do I get out? Come on, focus, come on. I said earlier, if I get the box van, I wanna go to the electric heater. 
I have a correction to that, a fireplace. Whether it's one of those little boat ones that Just Incredible puts in all his rigs, or like an actual, like, I've seen a couple on, um, oh man, what's the name of that channel? Awesome channel, Living Big in a Tiny Home. They had a video where they had a little tiny fireplace that you, you cook like pine cones and like little sticks in, and it doesn't keep like a fire burning for forever, but you don't need that in a little tiny space like that. You just need a little fire to go for a little bit. The problem with that is it puts out smoke, which is way obvious. You couldn't use that if you were in a city because there'd be smoke coming out the top of your thing. But I'm pretty sure those little ones that uh, that Just Incredible uses, the boat ones, I don't think those put out, I, I could totally be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they don't put out much, if any, smoke. And there's gotta be a way to filter out that smoke before it goes out so it doesn't look like smoke coming out. Um, I'd probably only use the thing at night and I wouldn't use it that often, but it would be really cool to have a uh, little fireplace, man. God, that'd be so sweet. Man, that'd be sweet. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but here's the Santa Fe Railroad, and here's the sunset. I don't, I really don't think it's turning out very well. Hey, Continental Divide. We're at the Continental Divide again. Remember that when I was in Montana? It's the, uh, it's one side of the mountain goes to the Pacific, the other side goes to the Atlantic, the, the rain shed or whatever, the rain. It's pretty sweet, man. Welcome to Arizona! Wow! All right, so I filled up in, uh-oh, what's the name of that town I was in, in Texas? Anyway, that town in Texas, the city I was in Texas in, um, I got three quarters of a tank, but I have no idea what's between here and Phoenix, besides Tucson, but Tucson's like 200 miles away, so I'm gonna fill up just in case. All right, so I washed all my, uh, my windshield and my side windows and my mirrors. They were all dirty from the, uh, all the dust and dirt out in Texas and uh, New Mexico and now Arizona too. So I like a nice clean glass and, uh, yeah, we got her done tonight. So yeah, back on the road, woo! All right, so I got some In-N-Out burger. No, I didn't film it. I have like 16,000 people staring at me when I'm trying to eat. Um, yeah, just filling up with gas and getting back on the road. I got like, what, two hours until Phoenix or something like that? Woo, let's do it! All right, just pulled into this rest stop. I got like 50 minutes to go. I'm almost there, dude. Um, I watched way too many horror movies as a kid. So I'm not gonna go in there and take a leak. I'm gonna use my orange juice bottle in the back and then I'm gonna get out and stretch and get back on the road. Looks like I'm pulling into Chandler. Uh, just looking at my map real quick, it looks like Phoenix is made up of a bunch of different towns, man. You got like Scottsdale and Chandler and Mesa and a bunch of like towns all in one area. It's kind of like Portland is like Portland and Tigard and Beaverton and Gresham. Like, they're only separated by an imaginary boundary, but they're pretty much like, I don't know, the vibe of the places is different, but, like, if you were just to go there and look around, it would all look like one town, you know what I mean? Do you see that car up there with no headlights on? It's amazing the amount of people I see with no headlights on. All right, almost to where I'm going. Check out these streetlights, man. I've never seen streetlights like this. This is crazy. All right, so made it. We got a we got a campfire going on. We got Cody making pancakes over here. We got Kaya down here. Say hi, puppy. Say hi, puppy. She doesn't know what the camera is. It's funny. Yeah, we got some pancakes going. I think I'm gonna call this a night, guys. Thanks for watching. Love yourself. Woo. Love yourself.